first of all, it says that Russell Crowe yeah. was the original. They wanted him to be Wolverine. Is that yeah, true? Absolutely. And Russell Crowe called you and said, hey, you ought to go in on this part. He didn't tell call me. He called Brian, Brian Singer, the director. He oh. said, look, I don't want to do it, but you should look at this guy. Right. And I was doing Oklahoma at the time. My hair looked like yours, man. I had really? a perm in my hair. You had a fro. When I went for the Wolverine <laughs> yeah. audition, I had to put a baseball cap on. And the casting agent said, uh, I don't think the baseball cap for Wolverine. I took it off. He goes, yeah, put it back on. Yeah, it is so <laughs> weird, isn't it? Because here, you know, first of all, you have the Australian accent. You know, there was a lot they had to overlook right, and, totally. and, or, or take a leap of faith with right. you as Wolverine. Plus, you knew nothing about Wolverine. You nothing. thought you thought it was about wolves. You thought you were playing I a wolf. There was, I didn't even know. I'd never heard of X-Men. I didn't right. know there was an animal called a wolverine. I thought it was like one of those <laughs> Shazam. It's a made-up like comic book animal or something. And I came to set after studying wolves. And I had this whole physicality. <laughs> yeah. And I was doing a, like a rehearsal, and the director goes, what are you doing with your body, man? And I said, oh, you know, I was just thinking the wolves, the way they're always smelling, and they're looking down because they're yeah. actually smelling the ground. And he goes, wolves, you're a wolverine. I said, well, there's no such thing. And he goes, yeah, there is. Go to the zoo down the road, man. There's, there's, a whole, there's four of them down there. What did you do? You walked around. I, I know your wife told you not to take the part because right. it, it sounded. She said don't do the audition. Yeah. She said, she said you're the Royal National Theatre, and you've got freaking claws coming out of your hands. Like, <laughs> but, the, you know, she's going off three pages. Right. And by the way, this is the only time Deb has ever been wrong. So Deb is a smart very, woman. Very, right. very, very clear. She's been but, a good advisor. Yeah. yeah, but I went for the audition, and uh, I, I said, yeah, but Anna Paquin, this is Ian McKellen, Patrick Stewart. Yeah. You know, this is the director of Usual Suspects. I said, there's got to be more to this. You know, I'd only read three pages, too. But isn't the motto, or not the, the moral of the story, that as a, as a performer, as an actor, mm. you got to act. You right. can't, you don't know with these films. You don't no. really have a crystal ball no. to know I that did. you're going to end up. Are you the longest running in a series? I think the only I other guy is Sean Connery who played James Bond. Yeah. But you playing a continuing character in the movies. Yeah. You're one, you have the most longevity yeah. as uh, Wolverine. Yeah. yeah. And it's brilliant. Why not? Yeah. No, I, and yeah, I, I always had a young actor. It's like, oh, I don't know about doing this. I said, say yes, man. Yes. Michael Caine's the best. So Michael Caine always said, he goes, look. One in ten things you do is a success. Everything else is a failure. So just say yes to everything. <laughs> right. And just make sure you got ten things. Are we done with Wolverine? Is that it? Is it over? Yeah. It's over. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm good. We're all right with I this. feel good because I was really proud of that last film. and I felt Logan. Like, Very good. Yeah, yeah, I loved Logan. I loved yeah. that film. Yeah, thanks, man. And and, and and I really did decide to finish it after that conversation I had with Jerry Seinfeld. I asked him why, what made him quit? Like, what was the last thing to say, this is the last season? He said, it's really important if you're in anything creative to not run the tank dry because it could actually never get refilled again. Like, if you right. could really overdo it, he said, so you leave while there's something in the tank and that will propel you into the next thing. Who knows what the next thing is? Right. It's good. But mm. how do you know? When there's not, maybe there is more in the tank. You it's know. just a, it's just a gut feeling. The moment he told me that story, I was like, oh yeah. Well, you know, Sean Connery made his last James Bond film right. and then came back. Did he? Yes. Oh yeah. He's oh. like, fuck what I said. How much money are you giving me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I reserve the right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. There is a clause. So if, uh, <laughs> so I'll make you a deal. Okay. Go ahead. If I change my mind. I'll tell you guys. All Please. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We okay. give you permission. Believe me. You're terrific. I'll do it here. 